once again to solving more problems that involve uh, sketching uh, the sketching a diagram for the word problem, uh, finding the triangle, uh, and then uh, applying the sine or the cosine rule uh, to find missing sides or missing angles and to find the bearing as well. So if we read the problem that we have in hands right now, two honey bees, A and B, leave the hive H at the same time. A flies, A flies 27 meter due south. Now, when we see south and then bearing of 111, we must immediately think of drawing the coordinate plane, the vertical y-axis and the horizontal x-axis. They intersect at the original point O. So we specify the north and the south, the east and the west. Now, A, if it's traveling, and A and B, they're traveling or they're flying from the exact same spot, and it's the original point. So this is the original point. A is going down towards the south 27 meter. Here we go. And B is flying from the exact same location, which is the original point, uh, at bearing of 111. Bearing is an angle that is measured from the north and clockwise. So if we measure 111, that's the 111 degrees and the length, so we know the direction of the side and we know that it's traveling from O to B and the length of this side is 9 meter. Now they're asking us about the distance between A and B. So that yellow line or the length of this yellow line that popped on the screen is what we are trying to find. Once we draw the diagram, we must name each angle and the opposite side uh, to, the, to that angle or to each angle as following. This is the 69. How did we know that this one is 69? Because all this from the north to the south is 180 and if we subtract the 111 from 180 we are gonna find this angle here as 69 degrees the opposite side of it let's name it as O small which is the unknown it's the length of AB that we are trying to find. This is side, if this is angle B capital, this side that is opposite to angle B is the 27 meter is B small. And if this is angle A, the opposite side to angle A is the red line the red line OB, so A is equal to 9 meter. Let's practice a little bit on applying the cosine rule. As you can see here, this side is known, and this side is known, and the angle in between is known as well. So immediately I must think of the cosine rule to find the length of O. But let's practice. We have side A, B, and O. If we start with side A, so it's A squared is equal to, what are the other two sides? B and O. B squared plus O squared minus inside brackets 2 times side B times side O times cosine the angle between side B and O. If we were going to write the cosine rule for side B, then it's B squared is equal to what are the other two sides? A and O. So A squared plus O squared minus in brackets 2 times side A 
times side O times cosine the angle between side A and side O. If we were going to write the cosine rule for side O, then it's O squared is equal to what are the other two sides? A and B. A squared plus B squared minus in brackets 2 times side A times side B times cosine the angle between side A and B. And since we are finding O squared here, then we must substitute in this rule. So A is equal to 9, so it's 9 squared plus B is equal to 27 plus 27 to the power of 2 minus inside brackets 2 times side A which is 9 times side B which is 27 times cosine the angle between side A and B between side side of a length of 9 and side of a length of 27 the angle in between is 69 so cosine of 69 this is not ready to be inserted in the calculator yet because we are finding not O squared but O. So we're going to square root each side of the equation. This brings the equation down to O is equal to square root of 9 squared plus 27 squared minus in brackets 2 times 9 times 27 times cosine of 69 degrees. Now this is ready to be inserted in the calculator and if you do so, you're going to end up with O is equal to 25.2 meters and this is correct to three significant figures. 2 is the first figure, 5 is the second, 2 after the decimal is the third, we're going to stop at the third. Look at the right, 1 is not going to bring my 2 up. So 2 is going to stay as 2, so the final answer correct to 3 significant figures is 25.2 meter. And this is how far apart are A and B. If we go to this question, a golfer hits this, his ball B a distance of 170 meter towards a hole H, which measures 195 meter from the T to the green. If his shot is directed 10 degrees away, so let's start with A. As we're reading the question, we draw the diagram. So if this is um, if this is B, a golfer hits. Uh, his ball B at a distance of 127, so this is my one, uh, 170 meter, sorry, towards a hole H, which measures 195 meter from T, so this is spot T, and this is the 195, so to come and the angle between the 170 and the 195 is 10 degrees is 10 degrees as you can see here if his shot is directed 10 degrees away from the true line of the hole so he um, hits the ball towards edge with an angle of 10 degrees so if we connect between T and B, now we have the triangle that we're looking for. Our diagram is complete. We must name now each angle in this triangle and the opposite side to it. As following, if this is B capital, then 195 is equal to B small to side B. If this is H capital, which is 10 degrees, then the opposite side to H capital is BT. So BT is equal to side H. If this is angle T, then T small is equal to 170. Side T is equal to 170 meter. Now, let's have a look. We have this is a known side and this is a known side. 
and the angle in between is known as well. So we can find the missing side H using the cosine rule. So H squared is equal to what are the other two sides? B and T. So B squared plus T squared minus M brackets 2 times side B times side T times cosine the angle between side B and T, which is angle H. Let's substitute in this angle. B is equal to 195, T is equal to 170, and H is equal to 10. So here we go. H squared is equal, again, B is equal to 195, so 195 to the power of 2 plus T is equal to 170, so it's plus 170 to the power of 2 minus M brackets 2 times side B, which is 195, times side T, which is 170, times cosine the angle between side B and T, which is 10 degrees. This is not ready to be inserted in the calculator yet because we are finding the solution of H, not H squared. So we are going to square root each side of the equation. This brings the equation down to H is equal to square root of 195 squared plus 170 squared minus in brackets 2 times 195 times 170 times cosine of 10 degrees. If you insert this in the calculator, H is going to be 40.4 kilometer and this is, sorry, this should be meters, not kilometers because the uh, sides are given to us in the question in meters so this is meters so the answer correct to three significant figures is 40.4 meter uh, I would like you to think of this question on your own please watch this video again if you struggle uh, with solving word problems that involve sketching um, finding the triangle using the sine or the cosine rule. Uh, thank you for watching and for sharing and for subscribing to my YouTube